Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to see how to install the MX Funky themes in Debian. So to start with, I have opened up the GitHub page of MX Linux. So on the GitHub page of MX Linux, if you go to this particular uh, particular web page that is mx-funky-data, you can uh, check out all the Funky theme configurations that are here. So you can even download all these Funky themes. So to download it, what you have to do is you have to click on this green button that is code and you have to click again on the download zip. So it will download the zip to the download folder of your system or any folder that you have configured on your web browser. Now, after you have downloaded this, uh, you will have to open the configuration. So you have to extract the zip file that was downloaded from the github page of mx linux funky themes now for the demonstration i will use this theme so this is called mx ap info theme so you can see it here how the theme looks so i will give you a, a preview of the theme so this theme looks like uh, something like this it's very simple clock is there calendar is there friday and day date, date is there username machine name uptime distribution architecture the kernel that is currently being worked the how much space is there in the root partition home partition what is the size of home partition how much cpu is being used ram how much ram is being used how much hard disk is being used what is the swap condition and what is the simple uh, uh, system temperature so it's uh, all the required most of the required data that a user wants to see at a glance is available here so now I will close this. Now what you have to do is I will just show you. So this file contains the source code. So this is the source uh, source info text. So you can go to this uh, web page. So this is Adi Pambudi is the developer of this conky thing, also known known by the nickname Adi. And this has been edited by Eric Duboy of Arco Linux. Now you will be thinking why Eric, Eric Duboy has uh, done the edition because this theme is also available in Arco Linux. This is the default theme in Arco Linux also. So Eric Duboy must have done some addition to this. Second is now the source types. So if you click on this, there is a link to the GitHub page of Eddie, who is the developer of, the, of this theme and you can directly download the latest conky configuration for this thing from his github page so that option is also available so if you don't want to install the mx uh, linux theme uh, because that might be some little differences the way this theme is used in mx linux and the way this theme was developed originally by id so if you want to use the original theme developed by id you can go to the web page of id that is the github page of id and download it or if you want the mx linux version you can uh, use the themes that are uh, already downloaded on our system that we are going to use for this demonstration so it is up to you or you can try both and then decide which theme to keep on your system so now i will close this so what you have to do is you uh, you have to open the configuration. so in your uh, system etc slash conky there will be a folder called conky so if, if you go to etc folder open it there will be a conky folder you have to open the conky folder and you have to open the conky.configuration file and in that conky.configuration file there will be a conky configuration that is the default conky configuration which starts from the line conky.config is equal to curly bracket and it will go right up to right up to the end of the file so i will just show you it just goes up to right up to the end of this file so you have to select it right up to the end, the end is semicolon and you have to delete this. Why you want to delete? Because this is the default configuration of the conky that is uh, installed in Debian using the conky dash all package. So you have to open the synaptic package manager first. You have to install the conky dash all package. Then you have to go to the gnome tweaks. Suppose if you are using the gnome desktop, you have to go to gnome tweaks. Uh, then you have to add uh, the conky in the startup applications and if you are in KDE you have to add uh, the conky as a startup application in KDE also 
then only the account key will start otherwise you have to start it manually every time you boot your system now you have to select uh, already i have told you you have to select the default conky theme that is in the conky configuration from here and you have to go up to the end delete it next what you have to do is you have to select the conky configuration that is given here and you have to select it uh, from the conky.config in this file also you have to not select the top top one is nothing but it is just uh, some description of the conky some links to the luia luia is the programming language for this conky script so you have to uh, neglect it you have to uh, copy from conky dot configuration is equal to curly bracket right up to the end of the file from here and you have to copy paste in here so you have to take it from here you have to copy paste it here you have to save the file using the save button that's it reboot the system even rebooting uh, reboot is also not repair but if you reboot it will be better and you have already done the configuration for the auto startup of the and this conky so conky will auto start up on the uh, reboot and the conky theme will be displayed as per the code that you have copy pasted it in your conky configuration so that code you have taken it from here and the code uh, copy pasted code should start with the conky.config and go up to the end of the system so end of the file so it is the end of the file complete this much code has to be replaced from the mx linux conky theme that we have downloaded from here where it is yes this much rest uh, top is just description uh, so you can keep it as is it won't make any difference so after you have done this uh, you have to close this i will close this also so i let, let let i will keep this open let us uh, close the web browser and i will show you how the conky theme looks on debian so it looks very beautiful you can see it here now i will close the tiling also so once the tiling is closed you can see it here it looks very beautiful now let us compare this with the conky configuration that came so this is the actual mx linux conky configuration and the theme will look something like this in mx config uh, mx linux and when you install the theme here in debian the theme uh, will look something like this the conky looks so what is the difference only the difference is the distribution name here completely is shown here the distribution name or the linux distribution that we are using so it should show the debian bulsa or bookworm so that is not shown here rest all things are there and here the system temperature is shown in mx linux conky 25 degrees so it is not shown here because it is i think missing the uh, this uh, sensor packet so we have to ins install the sensor packet from the synaptic package manager and it will start working because right now the system ca cannot gather the information from the uh, system center uh, uh, sensor that are installed all over the, your motherboard so it cannot display the temperature so it, it required to install the sensor package from the synaptic package manager so that's it so there are a lot of uh, lot of these things available all will not work because uh, you will have to do some configuration some changes to the configuration now you will ask me what changes to the configuration should be done and what will be required just i will uh, tell you yes so what changes will might require so for example you might require to change the minimum width minimum height maximum width of the conky the gap that is gap x that is the vert, uh, horizontal gap and the gap y vertical gap so these are the gaps from the uh, display edge so that you will have to do you will might have to change the alignment so default alignment here is top right which works perfectly then there are some configurations to the fonts the color of the uh, fonts that you you can change the you can change the outline of the fonts how it will look you can change the color theme so you can use the color application there are applications color applications available where you can create your own colors and the colors each color will have a unique hexadecimal code and that that code you can pay, paste it here the system will generate the uh, same color for you and that color will be used to show display the certain parts of the thing so here you can do all you can change the borders you can change the margins of the border border width you can draw border graphs everything it is given here how to do it so when you start for the first time you might not be uh, 
very much confident you will not understand but little by little if you continue to use it and continue to tinker with the uh, configuration of the conkeys you will soon learn it uh, soon learn it it will not take much time so you can even change the buffer sizes to make the conkey graphs uh, uh, show smoother on your system because what happens is the, uh, the buffer is smaller in size the graph will not run smooth on your uh, screen so you might have to change the bu memory buffer size also and the temperature can either be shown in fahrenheit or celsius you can change it the default you can show it here you can also change the update intervals for the temperature from here everything is there you have to just uh, try to understand you can change the fonts also you can change the font size also you can see it here the font size is also there i will just show you where are the fonts yes you can see it here you can change the font to the font of your choice you can just uh, play it with play uh, with it and you will enjoy the tinkering of the different conkeys so now uh, we will stop the video here you can see i have shown you how to do it and this conky works some conkeys don't work some conkeys are displayed in the wrong places for example one conky was in the center i had to do the configuration change the alignment of the conky so that's not uh, much bigger deal you can also do it but uh, you will have to learn uh, maybe in 10 15 days you will learn how to configure the conkeys and maybe later on after a few months you can create own uh, theme of your own so on this note i will stop the video here see you in the next video bye